Hi, I'm, I'm Randy Golden with Medical Technologies of Georgia, and I'm here today with my friend James to show everybody how to use the Easy Gripper intermittent closed system catheter uh, from our company. And this product is designed to do a couple of different things. Uh, it's a closed system intermittent catheter. So the uh, whole idea here is that once you open the package up, the catheter is still sterile inside. And the bag is going to do a couple of different things. It's going to protect the sterility of the catheter, and it's also going to catch the urine once the urine starts to flow. So literally, we're in an office, and you could actually cath anywhere. You don't have to be in a restroom to catheterize. And that's always a nice advantage. When you remove the cap, there's an introducer tip here. And I'm going to pull this off and show everybody. This introducer tip is really key. Uh, it actually protects the, the catheter's firm and it protects the catheter, which is inside the introducer tip, from bacteria that are located inside the urethra. Uh, studies actually show that most urethral bacteria right when you first go in, so even if you wash and you use betadine and or BZK or whatever, the catheter, if it's unprotected, is going to go through this contaminated region and can actually push those bacteria further into your body they can actually get a stronghold and grow back up into the bladder, and there's clinical studies that, that, that prove all that. So with the introducer tip, the whole idea here is that the introducer tip and the catheter both go into the urethra as you catheterize, and James will show all this in a minute with our anatomical model. The gripper is a unique feature, a patented device that we've added to the closed system catheter, which will allow the catheter to be advanced by people with poor hand function or limited hand function. So in essence, you don't have to have the fine dexterity of your fingers to be able to catheterize. Uh, C6, C7 level uh, quadriplegics are able to use this product. Some folks with brain injury and, and even some MS uh, folks with, with limited hand function all find this to be beneficial. There's a couple things that are going on here. We have a easy advancer valve in the bag itself, which is going to actually allow the catheter to go forward only. So in essence, what's going to happen is as the catheter goes forward, the gripper is going to go back and forth. And the catheter is only going to go forward. So what we're going to now show this here, use light pressure. It actually looks like a chip clip, and I'll show it sideways here. It looks like a chip clip, and what we're going to do is either with one or both hands, if need be, get your hand around the gripper or behind it. There's a little plate in the back here. It's actually pretty firm, and you can just advance this with a little bit of pressure. You see how the catheter comes out of the bag, and then we just, I can show with two fingers, you can actually pull this back. So just a little light pressure, and again, the whole idea is you don't have to apply pressure coming back. You just a little pressure going in, and then scoot the, the blue grip back. Okay, uh, before I give this over to James, I'm just going to show a couple of other features. We have thumb holes in both the top and the bottom of the bag. The thumb holes are used as the urine begins to fill. Of course, the bag's going to get heavier because, of course, gravity is going to uh, work on the bag as, as the bag fills with urine. Just get your, your finger in here and hang on to the bag. As, as Once you see urine, you can, again, hold on to the bag with that one hand and allow the bag to fill. And eventually, when we get finished, we're going to show you how you can actually turn the bag over using the other thumb hole and pour the urine right into the toilet. So without further ado, I'm going to turn this over to my friend James and show everybody how to use the, the product. All right, my name is James, and I'm going to show you how to use the Easy Gripper Cat from MTG. Uh, first of all, the packaging is quite easy. Um, at my injury level, with C5 and C6. I've been hurt about 10 years. So having something that's easy to open is uh, pretty important. So first of all, with the thumb loops, you get the plastic in, the paper in, and then just kind of pop it open, and it opens up for you. Then you can flip it around, and the bag has two loops in it that you can use to pull the packaging out. Of course, I've already washed my hands. Um, this does come with the accessories for the, the blue pad and the gloves, and the cotton 404, the BZK swabs. You use those. After popping the cap off, I'm going to insert the insertion tip that Randy already showed you. Uh, it goes right in. And I'm going to hold it with 
my left hand and advance the catheter with my right hand. And again, I'm just pushing the clip, the easier grip for cath, and then pulling it right back out. The bag situated where you like it. Everybody does this a little bit differently, you know, what, what works for one person. You might have to modify your system a little bit. Uh, but what works for me is to keep it over on one side. And so I'm not even squeezing to pull it out. Applying just a little bit of pressure to insert and then using the clip to pull it back out as well. And the catheter continues to go in. And I'm watching the end of the, fun the flange for the urine to start flowing. And it's really that simple. Remember, I have no finger functions. This is all tinnitus that's advancing the catheter out. See the catheter is going in quite a bit now already. All right, so I just removed the cath after I got done cath. I'm using the thumb loop, and to drain it into the toilet, this end cap comes off pretty easily. The white cap. I usually just push it off with my thumb. It comes right off. And that's going to allow me to drain it a lot easier, a lot faster. There's one thumb loop there, there's another thumb loop on the bottom. The thumb loop on the bottom is the one I really want to catch. Do that. Just let it drain in the toilet. the trash can. And now I'm completely independent with my cat.